Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. We have another tour for you today. Before we get started with the tour, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload another video. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. All right, family. This is the Mobile Home Diva coming at you with another video. We are in the Scott built three bedroom, two bath home. It's a 28 by 56. See some wonderful features in here. I can't wait to get into it. That's the door where we came in. You've got a foyer room here, foyer area with a mirror there. You can check yourself when you're walking out the door. Love the dark hardwood in that foyer area. When I open the door for somebody that I wasn't expecting, they don't see all into my house. They just see this area. I can find out what they want and shut the door back. I love it. I love it. Now I do love an open concept, but it's just something about having a really nice foyer area. Please forgive the smoke detector. They need to change the batteries. Something about having a foyer area, area that interests me too. Now, when you walk into the home, this is the first thing you see. If y'all know me, you know I love a good built-in, honey. Look at there. Beautiful. The light carpet and the windows give it a light, airy feel, but those dark built-ins, I could do so much with them. The TV would go in the middle. Probably couldn't put more than a 55 or 65 inch TV in there. But you've got some beautiful bookends for decor, pictures, albums, whatever you like. You've got a ceiling fan and then it opens up into the dining room and kitchen. So these walls have sort of a textured look. Nice drywall walls. They have sort of a textured look. Um, that window's closed so you just, you can't see how bright it is in here. But this is a really nice space and a nice size living room. So from the living room, and let's go over, take a look at the built-ins. Really nice. All right, I'm gonna lo lose you guys due to the battery. So let me change the battery and I'll be right back. All right, we had to go get a battery from the car. So again, this is your living room. Whew. That was quite a walk. Beautiful. From your living room, this is your dining room area. Look at all the space. You got the dark wood floors. You got sliding glass doors. Got your chandelier in there. I love the warm tones in the floor. Very nice. All right, so that's the dining room. And then the dining room and kitchen are here. Not a big kitchen, but it, it, it's a nice kitchen. I like the dark colors. So many times we see the, the brown, the honey color, or the white light cabinets. But this one is for the uh, dark wood lovers. Um, you could probably put three stools there. Um, you got a huge island with a double double sink, black to match the black appliances. You got nice cabinet space. You got a backsplash that goes around the perimeter and the back of the stove. Built-in microwave there. Really nice. Cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling, so if you decor lovers, you got room for decor and you got your dishwasher, but you've also got storage under your sink. Really nice. These are Frigidaire appliances throughout. Give you a look at the kitchen again. Not a total open concept, but you can see into the living room 
from in here and into the dining room. So this is probably the pantry. Yep. So you've got a pantry here. So there's your pantry. And then you've got your utility room over here. Now this utility room doesn't go out, doesn't have the back door. You do have a transom window in here. There's your space for your washer and dryer. And then you've got a desk area here with lots of cabinet space and space for books or whatever you want there. But you can put your home computer or you can pay your bills or whatever you like in this area. And it's behind the pantry door so this could be closed off say if you're doing some work or editing some videos or whatever you like and there's noise in the kitchen you can close that door. It's also off the master bathroom but we'll go around and look at that in a minute. Very nice. No, I'm sorry, it's not the guest bathrooms. So let's take a look. Let's go down this hall from the living room. We're gonna go down that hall and take a look. So the laundry room is off the guest bathroom. I think that's your... Okay, so this is a guest bath here everything you need. It has a transom window in the guest bath. And then there's the laundry room. So the kids can throw their dirty clothes in the laundry after they take a shower. Cool beans. So that's the first time I've seen that. It's usually off the master bath, if any room at all. But this one is off the guest bathroom. So if that's something that interests you, or that, that could be a plus, right? Because the kids don't have to keep hampers in their room. They can dump their stuff in the hamper in the laundry room after they take a shower. So pretty cool. So you got a guest bathroom here, guest bedroom here, nice size guest bedroom. Nice size guest bedroom. There's your closet. Sorry about the smoke detector. Walk-in closet. We're not gonna talk about what should go on either side. You guys already know. If you've watched my videos before, if not, go back and watch them and you'll know what I'm gonna say. All right, that's guest bedroom number one. Guest bedroom number two. Is here another nice size guest bedroom? All right. Another walk in closet. Very nice. All right, so you got two guest bedrooms and a guest bath there. And then you go back through the living room toward the front door, through the foyer, into the master bedroom. Really nice size. I love a nice size master. Really nice. So you've got a closet here, it's the master closet. Walk-in closet there, but you also have space here so you can hang your additional stuff behind the door. Let's see if you can. Additional items behind the door. Okay, so that's your master closet. All right, and then here's your master bath, double sinks. I love all the mirrors, space for makeup, lots of storage space in this one. You got a huge, huge shower, huge shower. 
your toilet areas here you got a little privacy if somebody's in the shower and then you got your garden tub you got a big mirror and window there awesome So that is the master bedroom, master bathroom. And master bedroom. All right, let me get out my handy dandy paper and give you the cost. Where did I put it? Y'all have been looking for this paper all day. Okay. So this is a Scott built home, three bedroom, two bath, 28 by 56. The price is 79.9. Awesome, awesome price you guys for the home that you get. 79.9, beautiful foyer, living room with built-ins, laundry room, dining room, kitchen, 79.9 really nice thanks so much for watching i don't have to party to have